Hey guys, what's up? I'm here again with Motoawia. But, um, this isn't gonna be same old, same old Let's Play. I know you guys can see everything when I'm moving it. But, um, same old, same old Let's Play. It's pretty much gonna be, um, a tutorial thing that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna call this, you get to create your character. Okay, see. Here is the beginning screen. For all you new players in Terraria. Um, very beginning screen you got to Terraria single player where you get to choose your character uh multiplayer hosting you get to host and play but you had to set it up through your internet and all that and then you can also join servers um settings will be like uh, video you can change its quality resolution parallax frame skip i don't even know half the shit that's on this um cursor color you can change the color of your cursor i like my cursor being a nice sexy red um, nice red color. I don't know why, but out of all the colors, I like red. M not the most. I like purple the most, but, uh, uh, pretty much you can change your controls, all that good stuff. Um, auto saves is always on. I always keep that on. Auto pause, I don't like. Um, pick up text, language, all that. And then you could also exit, which closes it out and all that stuff. So pretty much you go to single player. For any new players, you go to single player, and then you go to you create your character. First of all, well, I like to go in order. You pretty much go for hair. And then you get to choose what kind of hairstyle you like out of all... Uh, I think there's 24. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm wrong. 35, okay, 36 hairstyles, I think. Let's do that again. Just a lot quicker. Okay, 30. Yes, there are 36 hairstyles. I particularly like the either number 9 or um, 14. Uh, that's just my preference. And then you can also change the color from here, too. Uh, I'm going to make this, like, I don't know, a bluish. There we go. A purple hair. I'm going to give him purple hair. How about that? And then you go back, and it saves the hair. Uh, also, you can change the eye color to whatever you want. I'll make his eyes... Um, green which is like a dark green right now look at that green eye oh yeah so he's gonna have green eyes you could also change his skin color but i don't really mind anything i just need to make him a little bit whiter because he looks too wait white needs to go higher higher in numbers equals white <laughs> there we go and there we go he's a little bit whiter i can't really tell he looks kind of pink but whatever uh, clothes, you could change uh, the colors of his clothes to, like, make it red, let's make his, uh, let's make his shirt white. Yeah, we'll make his shirt white, his undershirt also white, just so that matches, being all good and stuff, you know. Gotta match your clothes, bro. And then also have his, we'll have his pants black. We'll have his pants go black. When you go black, you never go back. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to have his pants out of black and his shoes out of black, too. Oh, what the hell? You can't lower blue? What the fuck? Okay, I guess we're going to have bl blue. We're going to have a nice blue. Wonder why. Huh, that's weird. Okay, well, we're going to raise this to 150. And then, I guess you can't go down more than 150 for one specific color. There we go. So there we go. He's a white and blue guy. And then you click back, and then you also want to... Okay, what were we on? Clothes. Okay, you can either change male or female. And they also have different noises. When the female gets hurt, he, she makes like a ooh sound, and when the guy gets hurt, he makes an ert sound. You could also choose from softcore to hardcore. Softcore, I usually choose softcore characters, as it says right here, drops drop money on death instead of, like, dying. Medium core, they drop items, like I think in Minecraft, they'll drop items upon death. So you'll be, like, if you die, you explode, pretty much, I think. I haven't tried medium core. Hardcore, the player actually dies, and you lose everything that player had. You can't go back to that world and pick up the stuff. You lost everything that it had. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a soft core, because I bet you guys would too. And uh, Or you can do it like a random thing and... Switch it up once in a while, but I'm going to keep it at that. You could also create your character's name. I'm going to call this Tut, Tut for tutorial. 
but Tut's really good right now. And then you could all, this is where you create your world. I have already four worlds that I mess around with. Number two, I don't mess around with, so I'm going to delete number two because I never use it. So, create a world. Pretty much, I like using small worlds because that means more uh, ores are compact and easier to find. Large worlds mean that uh, ore seems to be uh, spread out eat harder to find. Uh, but that means it can also spawn more than what you have in your smaller worlds. Medium, same thing, it's just a little bit bigger than small and a little bit smaller than large. So, I'm going to pick a small, and then you get to create the world name. I'm going to call this the Tutorial World. Tutorial. I don't even know how to spell Tutorial, but I hope to God I spelled it right. Tutorial World. And then pretty much it'll just uh, make generate all its stuff, and uh, if you give it a second, it'll create the Underworld. The Underworld is something I will show you in a later vid video uh, I'm just gonna teach you how to get your normal supplies really okay I just spawned on the wrong world it's alright though it's alright it's alright it's alright okay so pretty much you click your guy and you click the world tutorial world so as it loads you can go do whatever okay now that you're here pretty much uh, you start out with your simple sword pickaxe and hammer what you wanted, and I picked up a block of dirt, which I don't need. But, uh, already, holy shit, already right here, this right, this ore right here. I may, I know it may not look like anything, but this is iron. Watch, when you, when you take out your little pickaxe, your pickaxe is allowed to mine through, um, dirt, stone, gravel, silt, whatever other blocks are underneath you. These blocks, every single block of these, you can mine. So, I will be, I'll mine out this iron for you right now do a little mining and uh i'll show you later on other things that you can do also there are cl there's clay in this game um too see this is dirt yes it's like a brownish tint if you look at the clay it's got a reddish tint so if you mine that out it'll get you clay and if you mine enough i think you can make pots and then after you make pots you can plant see plant flowers in the pots uh Pretty much, if you want wood, you gotta take your take your common axe and chop down trees. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't have my jetpack boots, son of a bitch. Um, later on in the game, you'll get uh this guy and he'll give you jetpack boots, which allow you to jump really high. <sighs> Very difficult for me because I'm used to my jetpack boots. But um, so pretty much, I'll teach you guys the basics. I'll build a house in this video for you, and uh, you guys will probably copy it but I don't I don't really mind I, it's I'm teaching you guys how to build stuff so I'll build our basic house um first of all ooh, bunnies pretty much anything in this game you can kill I just killed two bunnies but um doo -doo -doo -doo. you pretty much want your house close to spawn until you are able to ba make a bed and actually learn how to uh, make a house correctly and I'll teach you guys how to do that to make a house correctly so that people move into your house and life's all good um that's pretty much what you want to do you want people moving into your house um because the more people you have in your house the more um stuff you can do you can pretty much go buy things and also like i think one of the people she comes in and uh she helps i mean what am i saying oh i'll teach you guys how to make torches right now uh while i'm at it um one of the girls, she comes in and uh, she gives you this powder and where you can uh, put away the, un the 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 bad worlds, the corruption, which I'll show you in a bit because I bet there's corruption uh, at least to the right or to the left of me, like th maybe this way or that way. But um, I'll teach you how to get how ah, I'll teach you guys how to make torches. Okay, to make a torch, you need gel, which you kill from uh, you get from killing slimes. If you kill the slimes. You get this gel. You could also use it as ammo, either or. I don't know what you'd need it for, but to create a torch, you need one gel and one chunk of wood. And that'll make three torches. So pretty much you can make as much as you want. I just made a little bit right here. And I'm going to kill the slime. And make more. Okay, so he gave me one gel and a little bit of health. Uh, I'll also show you guys when you'll be able to uh, make... Uh, get more hearts. 
the highest amount of hearts you can get is uh, 400. You can have 400 health. And uh, over here, at, which will be a lot easier, over here I'll gain mana. If I find uh, 10, 10 fallen stars that have landed on the ground at night, uh, when I find those fallen stars, I can pick them up. If I p find 10, you can just access your inventory, and then you can make your stuff there. Um, okay, so I'm going to do the common... Actually, no, I'm not. Okay, for... Getting ahead of myself. Okay, take your workbench, which is only 10 wood. Take your work workbench, place it on the ground, and uh, cra start crafting. What you need to craft first is a uh, some wall. You need a wall for your house. You need a wall, or else no one can live in it because it's not suitable. So you're going to make just a decent amount of wall. And then you're going to take your wood or whatever, and you're going to place it. With the first mouse button, you're just going to place it down. Usually I like to create mine five high, and then just keep going from there until it's a satisfying length that I like. Pretty much I like it keeping a distance f from other objects, like like that. Maybe two distance, like that. And then we'll just place it like that. Same thing with the walls. You can just take your wall, place it right there, and then take it and place just with the right click, and your guy will start placing a wall. The Placing the wall will, uh, t will be hard to get used to, but um, you'll get get the hang of it after a while. As you as you can see, I I ran out of wood, but or walls. I think I made these ones. And there are definitely different types of walls you can make. Uh, after you get like a sawmill, I'll teach you guys how to get that too. And as you can see, it's a little bit dark, so you're gonna place some torches in here, just to light it, light it up a bit. But uh, that's not all, I guess. Um, you also need a ch you need a chair. You guys are probably like, why would you need a chair? There's reasons. Um, you'll also need doors to get out of your house, so, a chair is just for housing purposes, or else the Terraria housing qualifier, which you can definitely test right here, I, I click this little house button over here on the right, you click it, and it'll give you this question mark, housing query, and then you click on it, and it says this housing is suitable, if you don't, it'll be like this, this housing is not valid, see, this sky is not valid, so pretty much I can take this guy, and stick him in this house. Jake the Jake the guy now li now lives here. He lives here. He doesn't Yeah, he he lives here. He's at your house. Isn't that awesome? So, first of all, after you're done with all that, we need to go get some Okay, we'll grab this hammer. We build a hammer. That's one of the your second priorities. Build a hammer. Cuz if you find a hard thing, uh heart crystal um you'll be in so much luck but you don't have to build one out of wood right now you could wait a couple minutes and um or a couple couple times when you find enough iron and get I'll show you that too I sh I'm going ahead of myself don't worry guys don't be like what is he talking about now but um I'll show you in a sec once first of all I want you guys to collect stone that's your that's your next priority right now. Collect stone. See these? These are little thing little pots. Break the pots. They give you stuff. See this right here? This is a chest. Open the chest and you'll find some goodies. I just found a demonic boomerang which does 8 melee damage, 9% critical hit chance and is a very fast speed so I can throw it really fast. Have a ha and it has an average knockback. Uh knockback as you guys know, if you hit someone he flies back. Um and it also, since it's a demonic wooden boomerang, it gives me 14% damage and a 5% critical hit chance, which is great. Awesome, I found some iron bars, shurikens, which do 10 range damage, 4% critical hit chance, 5, very fast speed, no knockback, and consumable. Um, consumable, swiftness potion makes me go faster, pretty much. And then you could take your hammer, and if you don't want to build chests yourself, you could pretty much just take this chest for yourself, if you take your hammer and hit it. Same thing with this chest, uh, I found another one, lucky for me. Look at that, I found another boomerang, and more iron. Lesser potions, very helpful. They, they'll help you stay alive. Oh, I'm hearing an enemy. Wait, occasionally, worms will come out and try to kill you. Yeah, funny, right? Worms are trying to kill you now. But, uh, 
yeah, there's gonna be, if you go into the, uh, demonic, not the demonic, <laughs> Jesus, Josh, getting all evil here, if you go into the darker worlds, oh, I forgot to point that out, the, the shiny stuff I just mined is, uh, called silver, um, that's another good thing, and as you can see here, I am also mining some more iron at the moment, uh, and I'll mind some call some stone too for you guys just so you guys be like okay so that's what I need to be doing you guys need to be collecting stone just so you can make a furnace a furnace is where you can um, put your ores and make bars like this and I'll show you how to do that in a second once I collect this and go down here a little bit more oh wait I have no more torches I'll just create more and you can right click and it goes a little bit faster for you and hold shift if you hold shift it'll pull out your torch or if you're near something like um, dirt if you point your cursor at dirt while holding shift it'll pull out your pickaxe but if you just have it flinging around and stuff it'll pull out your torch which is very helpful and unlike in minecraft you can hold your torch and it creates light for you so you'll mine I'll mine out this iron and your guy is two blocks wide and three blocks high. So, just keep that in mind for like when you're building stairs under underground. And just like in Minecraft, your guy does not take damage when he hits water. So, oh wow, holy cow. I'm gonna die though, so whatever. This jellyfish and slime are wanting to kill me really now. Like, really bad. Ow, butthole. Butthole, no. Get out of here, itch. Oh, sorry. I, I used a hotkey on you guys. Um, If you click H, uh, or press H, and you have a potion in your inventory, he will drink, your player will drink the potion. No matter what it is, it'll drink the potion. Ooh, there's a statue down there. And also some uh, gems. Okay, well, that's always good. I'll check this later when I have the time. So pretty much you guys are probably like, Josh, you're stuck. How are you going to get back? Well, pretty much you can do a really quick thing to get... Oh, how do they get back that either? Huh. And there's some silver right here. Uh, there's an easy way to get back, but it takes a little bit of time. You pretty much just click save and exit, single player, and then go back to your guy and go back to your world. And it'll spawn you at the spawn point where you first started out. Like, see? I spawned here. Look at that. Isn't that kind of random? And then you can go back to your house. It, it, I think that's a really good, cool thing to have. So pretty much you scroll down and you'll find your furnace. Pretty much you need 20 stone. I told you guys you're going to need stone. You need 20 stone, 4 wood, and 3 torches. So you pretty much right click on your furnace and you place it down with the left click. Or you can left click your furnace and place it down with the left clicks too. Also, after that, you can right click on your, or right click and hold on your iron bars, and you can make more. And then you can make, after you make an iron, so enough iron to make an iron anvil, which is only five, not that much. Um, you take your iron anvil and you place it down. Uh, after that, you can create iron stuff such as like bathtubs, toilets, cooking pots. Pretty much these two you will not be needing. These three, I'm saying, you will not be needing. They're just decoration. You might be needing decoration later on, though. Because you never know. You might get decorative. These are zombies, of course. You kill them. Oh, uh, I forgot what they... Oh, they only drop coins. So, whatever. It's worth it. You're gonna need coins later in the, in, in the world. So, pretty much, uh, to make a, um, salmo, you take a chain... And then you, I think you come over here, and you scroll up. And there you go. You got your little sawmill. Once you make your sawmill, uh, you can make a loom out of 12, 12, uh, 12, 12 wood. And you place that loom. And then once you get enough cobwebs, which will be somewhere in caves, you'll you'll see spider webs. You need to swipe those spider webs so you can make silk. Uh, I'll I'll have that later too. And you can also make barrels and stuff and mannequins. Now. See these guys? They just want to fight me. But, uh, I'll kill these guys off. And I'll see if I can find you guys a fallen star. So, I'm going to go and search for a fallen star right now. Uh, do, 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 do. <sighs> There's things that I have on my other world that I miss here. 
Okay, so uh, place. Oh, oh, I can't reach it. Oh shit! 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 Ah! Get the fuck out of here. Okay, place that. Okay, so pretty much, uh, your anvil will uh make items well not items uh weaponry and armor for you so that's that's another good thing for anvils they make the good stuff i'll scroll down to it and show you all this iron you can make your uh self an iron pickaxe iron axe iron swords iron bow i'm typically the usual here let's swing and kill kind of guy uh, so I need I need upgrade I need to upgrade my sword every like couple couple ores or so. So hmm. eight eleven oh nice I got a superior broadsword. There are um there's a percent chance where if you do make a sword you will get a chance to make like um uh something a special weapon. You'll do like a, like I just made. I just made a superior iron broadsword. Now it does 11 melee damage, 7% critical hit chance, and it still has its fat, fast speed and average knockback, but it has a 10% increase in damage and a 3% increase in critical chance and 10% increase in knockback. Um, oh, also, your chests, you can place those down if you don't want to keep them in your inventory anytime soon. Chests are like normal chests, you just right click it and it opens and then you can click and place. Don't shift click, because if you shift and click, it'll go straight into the trash. You don't want to throw it away. Um, what do I don't need? I don't really need bottles, I will need platforms and wood, but I won't need walls. Do not need the swiftness potion, don't need the strong boomerang, I'll keep the demonic one. I'll switch it out with dirt. Don't need clay. Okay. There. So now I have myself set up. I, I like this little setup already. Just uh, going out. Okay, so I'm going to go out and go find some... Sorry, guys. My recording glitched. Um, I accidentally pressed one button when I was trying to press another. Night owl potions. Wooden arrows. I think I have somewhere else. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Get the fuck away from me. Get the hell away from me, assholes. Jesus, I'm trying to do a video here. And you guys are swarming my butt. I don't want to fuck you with you guys, okay? Jesus. Okay. So what else is here? Torches, sorry. Getting out of here after I take this chest. Get the hell out of here, bro. Jesus Christ. Okay, so... If I were to go down there... Here, I'll throw a stupid... How far is it? Oh, it's pretty deep. Well, it's not that deep, so I guess. <gasps> Holy shit! A golden chest. Oh, uh, these are pretty rare. They give you really good stuff, though. Oh yes, cloud in a bottle. Uh, the cloud in a bottle gives you the ability to to double jump, like this. Poof! Look at that double jump. Look at that sexy double jump. Okay, he won't be able to get me for quite some time unless he gets smart and goes around. He's probably gonna get smart in a couple seconds, like right now. Shit. Get the fuck off me! Oh shit! I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I have a hundred health, so don't lie, Josh. Stop lying. Kill this guy, kill this guy, kill this guy, kill him. Okay, let's go. No, kill him too! He's gonna charge! Damn it, son of a bitch! I need to take everything that's in this chest. Maybe I just drink that now. Take silver. Now I can make a gold coin. You have to have a hundred silver to make one gold coin. That's That's how this game goes. I don't know why, Chris. Don't be like, why? Because it's how the game goes. And since this is empty, you can also pick it up with your average hammer. So you're gonna you're gonna go around here, and you're gonna see this shiny blue ore. You're gonna be like, Josh, what is this blue ore? It's called Demonite. You'll be using this later, later, later if you have a good pickaxe. Uh, if I could see that. Oh, that's a jellyfish. Okay, never mind. If it wasn't a jellyfish, I would have told you what the orbs are. There should be some orbs somewhere. There. Two orbs right next to each other. Awesome. But, uh, I can't seem to reach that. Because I don't have any bombs. But if you blew these orbs up, they would give you something good, but they would also do something bad in return. Pretty much the bad thing they would do is, um... 
The bad thing they do is, um, if you destroyed three of those orbs, you would, uh, spawn the Eater of Worlds. Pretty much you want to run from him until you were, you're pretty much got enough health. Because it doesn't, it's not really hard to defeat, it's just, it's just a lot of, it doesn't do very much damage, but it's just a lot of health it has. It's just a pain in the butt, but it's like a worm, so you could just slash for days, and it keeps doing massive damage over and over again. So pretty much, I if you scroll up on your thing, just regular scrolling, and you right click and you grab, and you grab all your all your ores, and then you can make stuff now. Uh, like I said before. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. now. So, say you're like, uh, I don't really like my house anymore, I'd like to uh, upgrade to a bigger house. So pretty much to make a bigger house is not that difficult. Uh, you just gotta grab some wood if you want to match. If you want to match, if you don't want to match, go ahead and build with something else. But if you want it to match, like what I've started out with, I've started out with uh, wood. So I'm gonna build my house out of wood. Pretty much how it's gonna go. So, I'm going to grab some more trees after the, just a little bit of trees. I don't need that much, right? Yeah, 48 shouldn't be should be a lot. And just do the same thing you did last time. 1 2 3 4 5. Okay. Just do the same thing you did last time with the wood and just create a nice little part onto your house. And then you try, try and find the middle. I like to I like to try and find the middle. And then you do that. I think I have something in this chest. My wall's in this chest, yep. And then you take your wall and do what you did last time. Just build off your house. Build your house. And if he dies, well, that's stupid of him. He shouldn't be dying. Uh, I'm going to make myself an iron helmet. Boom, there we go. Iron helmet. It increased my defense by two, but I already have, like, a... Oh, wait, that increases my movement speed. Okay. Uh, hasty cloud in a bottle, which also increases my movement speed. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I need to make more walls. So just keep scrolling until you find your wooden wall. Sooner or later, you're gonna get used to scrolling, cause it's it's just gonna it's just gonna be that way for quite some time. You're gonna have to scroll for a lot a lot of things. You're gonna have to look for. You're gonna have to scroll. So you could pretty much just build anything. I'll show you my my houses at on the other worlds that I've made, which are pretty nice houses. I like them. I'm pretty impressed of how I made them. Planked wall. There we go, the wood walls. And it seems that I'm going to need some more wood. Yeah. I'm going to need Yeah, I'm going to need a couple more cuz I'm not done yet. Do, 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 chop down this tree. Maybe I should close my inventory. To access your inventory, you just press escape. If you guys haven't learned that by now. Um, H for heal. I think it's B for to drink all your potions at once. Like every single potion in your inventory you can drink at once. Just by pressing B. And except for your health, I think. Yeah, everything except for your health. If you press B, it'll... Uh, They'll drink all those. See, now I have increased night vision, iron skin, and swiftness. Just by pressing B. Boom. There we go. So I think I have enough wood to get stuff. So I'm going to get out of here. And I'll show you my houses right after I finish this. I'm going to scroll up. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Then you find the wood wall. Make another another batch. Not, not too much because I know it's kind of small. And I'm almost done right here. Yep, see? Done. And then you use your wooden platforms just to make it look nice and easier to jump up and just get in there. No homo. And then I like to make other rooms for more people. So that's just me. Don't be judging. So that uh, more people can move into your house. You don't really need it that big, but you can't make it too small kind of thing. You can make it at least this big, though. And you can put your wooden doors... You would rather you should rather make a table than a crafting table for the house, but uh, cause tables only take eight, and crafting tables take ten wood. So I don't know about you, but I want to use less wood. <laughs> That's what she said. 
So I'm gonna scroll up again, scroll to my chair, and make two chairs. How many chair? How much does chair take? Okay, eight. Because I have two. Make two. And then I go like that. And then I can actually move this. Move this chair, maybe. Yeah, right there. And then shut the door. Actually, I should open it and place Jeff in there. So now he's not in my house. But he is at the same time. Ugh, idiot. I forgot. If you do that while he's already downstairs, you have to walk away from the house so that it gets off its little glitch or whatever. You have to go like a couple feet away. Not very far. Maybe like up to this hill and then you can walk back down and the game will fix itself. It should, I think. Yeah, the game fixes itself and it sticks them up there. Because they don't know how to jump, the guys. Well, they do and they don't. They don't know how to jump at something kind of thing. Okay. So now this is done, I can show you my other houses. My nice, my nicer houses. Uh, I'll just use my regular guy. Okay, so on Let's Play, I built this house where it, it goes into the ground a little bit, but not too much. So, here's my Let's Play house. Well, not my real Let's Play house, but here's the world Let's Play house. I have these little things where uh, if a monster walks over, it'll fall into these, these holes. And I also have this room. This is my regular room. And then my chest room on the bottom. And then up here is my uh, housing room. Where all the people come and do whatever they do. And that's where they walk around. Uh, save and exit. And then also my world 3. Which is the game world I usually play on most often. Uh, I've built plenty of houses for this. Uh, this is one of my crappier houses. Uh, no joke. Um, I don't like it very much. Uh. I gotta go back to my other one, the one that I, I really, really enjoyed making, um, but it seemed that my house was, like, s this place was super corrupted. Uh, as you can see, I have, like, upgraded everything, so I'm kind of bored with this world by now. So I'm gonna go see if I can get there, like, super quickly for you guys, but, uh, it's kind of difficult because I had to find somewhere else that wasn't corrupted, so it, it was, like, really far out into... I think my world is like 30, no, 57% corrupted by now. Yeah, 67% corrupted. That's that's really bad. I shouldn't have let it go out so bad, but it, uh, it just did, so. What are you going to do about it? And as you can see, these other, other, other monsters that aren't in, usually in the game until you uh, defeat the Wall of Flesh. Such as the Vile Corruptors, um, they shoot spit at you, and it hurts a lot. So I'm going to keep going through here, flying. I think I'm almost home, because, yep, this is the hill that I placed that on, and Harpies might attack me, probably not. Oh, shit, the Wyvern is great. That's, that's awesome. Another boss that you guys shouldn't fuck with. He's a, he's a pretty OP boss. OP, overpowered. You guys don't know. The person that probably requested for this probably definitely knows. Fuck, dude. I don't have any potions. I'm gonna die. Great. Yeah, see. Right, right as I get home, right? Just perfect. Perfect timing. Right as I get home, I die. <sighs> I don't like wyverns. It's a boss that you shouldn't fuck with. That's pretty much what a wyvern's name is. A boss you shouldn't fuck with. But, uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can go back home, like, super quickly. I was just swinging my sword so that you guys could see. But if you guys could already, without it, then great. See, these are fallen stars. You want to collect these so that you can have the amount of mana that I have, the 200 mana, being a boss. You'll be using mana later. Like, if you have these, which you'll get later on, uh, that, that requires mana, and it's pretty much like a magic fa flower I have that shoots out fireballs. I think that's pretty legit. And also, this thing that I have right here, this magic mirror, it teleports me back to my last saved location. And it seems that there's a werewolf, so I'm not gonna fuck with him. Werewolves are also assholes. Seems that everything in this game after you defeat the Wall of Flesh is an asshole, so... Yeah, everything wants to kill you after you defeat the Wall of Flesh, just letting you know. The Wall of Flesh pretty much just unleashes a whole 
box full of monsters. And you're like, where did this monster come from? And shit, the creators probably were drunk when they made it. That's where it came from. There's just so much that I have no idea about. So we're coming back up on this hill. And I'm probably going to die right here anyways. Because a stupid wyvern's probably going to stick its dick up my butt. But whatever. It's alright. We're all going to live, right? Someday. Okay, now that I'm doing like super massive damage to these guys, I need to hurry up and get home. Okay, now that I'm halfway home. How do I can how how I can tell is by all these fucking pixies and all the shit. Oh, almost got hit. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? There's so much stuff trying to attack me. Okay, uh, you don't want to know what these guys are, anyways. Okay, almost home. Almost home, Josh. You're almost home. Don't die now. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. You're like fucking inches away from your house. You're almost there. You're almost there. No, I'd be gay if I died right in my house. That that sucks so badly. Okay, click on that. And there we go. No, I don't care if I die in my bed. So pretty much, this is my uh my good house that I like. Um, it's got all like it's got its own statue room. Got a um, got a st yeah statue room. Got a mannequin room. Uh, my other clothing I can wear. Um, this is my weapons room, but I don't I haven't filled it up yet. It's got all the awesome weapons. And if I go up here, it's got a, a very, very nice room that I, I believe I, I did very well on. This took me... <laughs> isn't this beautiful? Oh my god, I can't... Okay. Isn't this really cool? I think this is really, really nice. Really nice house that I built. And one person lives here. Whatever. But, um... Yeah. I thought that was just pretty much the intense part of my house, so... I just wanted to show you guys that. And I also have another chest room down here. Give me a second, I'll get out of my house. It's alright. Just swing my sword. And I have another chest room with like bombs, dynamite, bombs. And other other stuff that I shouldn't have too much of this. Okay, and I bet that werewolf wants to kill me, so you know what? I'm gonna fight him. We're gonna have a 1v1 battle, and broski. We're gonna have a GG. It's gonna be a GG, you know? Good game, good game. Where's it going? Hey, you're Brosif. You wanna, you wanna GG battle? Let's go. I'm gonna win. Gonna whoop your butt. Where you leave? Where the hell are you going? Doing massive damage. Oh, I win. Oh, I'm bleeding though, so whatever. I can't regenerate life. That's another add-on thing that they do now. If you if you're bleeding, you don't you don't regenerate life. You're pretty much fucked. If you're like in a battle and you're bleeding. So yeah, that pretty much sums up this whole video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye bye. 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 I'm going to do an internet. Whoa!